what's the sugar alcohol? And could it be causing all my gas and bloating? In this video, we're going to discuss what sugar alcohols are and could they be messing with your stomach and causing you tons of gas and bloating? Stay tuned. Welcome to Gut Freedom, where we find your gut problem, fix it, so you can live your best life. I'm Jason Goto, and we're talking about what are sugar alcohols and what could they be doing to my body? Now, this is an interesting topic because I recently bought some cookies and they were actually protein cookies. Uh, they're great. I had one and I thought, man, oh man, I have some terrible, terrible gas. And I thought, oh, I can't be the cookies, right? I mean, please don't let them be the cookies. And so maybe another day I'm like, no, I'm gonna have another protein cookie, right? Of course, they're great. Why wouldn't I want to do that? It's a reward for me at the end of the day. It tastes really good. And oh my God, my stomach just blew up multiple times. So I wasn't quite convinced. You know how that is where you're like, oh, please, please. I don't want to give this up. This is so good. And you just got to try it again. Yep. Same problem. Well, I finally looked at the packaging and it had, of course, sugar alcohols in it. Now you're like, what's a sugar alcohol? Well, sugar alcohols are something that does not help alcohol, but is a part of a sugar molecule and is part of the alcohol molecule. So they're put together. So they're not really sugar and they're not really alcohol. They're just combinations of both put together. So what are some examples? Uh, some of the most common examples are erythritol, here's xylitol, erythritol, sorbitol, mannitol. These are all different, but if you look at them, most of them end in oil like alcohol, right? Just like alcohol. Look on your packaging. And if you're wondering, gosh, I, I keep eating the same things. And I just keep getting gas and they seem to be okay. Well, sometimes it could just be a has sugar alcohol in it. So what kind of things could have them? Well, these are the most common. Hard candies, chewing gum, cookies. Uh, that's what I was eating. And soft drinks. Now, what about coffee creamers or something else that you love to eat or something you love to drink. Look on the packaging and see if it has any of these sugar alcohols in it, because what can it cause? Most commonly, bloating, farts, stomach pain, and diarrhea. Yeah, they actually can cause tremendous amount of this. So why do people even put them in there? Well, the interesting thing is they have less calories. So a sugar alcohol only has about two calories per gram, but regular table sugar has about four calories per gram. But is it really sugar-free? Uh, no, there's still calories in it, right? It's still part of the sugar molecule, but it's not actual table sugar. So that is why they're not calling it, it, it is sugar-free because it's not table sugar but it's a sugar alcohol, okay? What is one of the most common ones? Xylitol, why? Because it's as sweet as sugar. So the very top one here, xylitol, is equivalent, the amount of grams of xylitol is equivalent to table sugar grams, so in the sweetness, but all the rest of, oops, sorry, all the rest of these, you have to add a lot more in it so it gives the same sweetness. So oftentimes, adding a lot more of these sugar alcohols causes a lot of stomach discomfort and problems. But something I found was really interesting also, a very common place to have sugar alcohols is toothpaste and mouthwash. Uh, yeah, right before bed or right before you go to work. You could be putting these in your body and causing gas and bloating and some loose stool. So I just want to give you guys an update on what the heck are sugar alcohols and could they be causing me problems? Take a look at your packaging. Does it have any of the sugar alcohols in it? And could it be causing you problems? That's it for today. I hope you guys are doing great and I'll see you soon.